the report. Okay. So this, these these equations of the real and the reactive power I was trying to write. Okay. So this equation keep in mind for the real and the reactive power. Only in the uh, reactive power this value will become same. Two k plus one will become imaginary of the upper part. Rest all the value here in the bracket will be same. Whatever is on the top. Okay. Um, that is vi. You have already taken down in the notebook also this part. Okay. Vij minus of j is equal to one and vij vj. Okay. The term will remain same here. So this is the same thing here down. Uh, rest all things will be same. Now remember one thing. See, since this both components of voltage are specified for the slack bus, so we are specified slack bus. Do you know what is the slack bus? Slack bus. Yes, yesterday sir. I told you. Uh, oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. What? What are well, the um, in the slack bus? You have. Yeah. Where? What sir. is the reference? Phase angle yes, and sir, voltage. Sir, no, sir. So basically, magnitude and uh, phase angle is the uh, phase specified. angle and voltage. Okay. So this slack bus is magnitude, sir. Which that is magnitude of what voltage, right? Magnitude of voltage, phase angle, and okay. magnitude of voltage. Uh, okay. And the magnitude and phase angle of the voltage are specified. Okay. So that would mean yes. in, here in you specify V at an angle of alpha. So where V is the magnitude of the voltage, and this is the phase angle of the voltage. Okay. This is the phase angle. See, you go through the book also. Okay. If you are not going through the book, then taking tuition, what is the fun in that? Please kindly yes, go sir. through the book. No, sir, okay. Yeah, see, in the last, now you have to read also. Like, if you are coming to the class, come and uh, read. Okay. See, since both the components of voltage are specified for the slack bus, so we will have now, we have two n minus one equations. Okay, equations will be generated. Because both the components, see, on the sending end as well as the uh, uh, receiving end. So you don't need to worry about this. This for the information I'll tell you. So, what we do here, here in this case, the initial estimate would be not a real term. It would be real plus imaginary term. So, in this scenario, what we do is we take an initial estimate of 1 plus J0. Okay, this is an initial estimate. Now, I will explain you why we are taking. See, under normal operating conditions, basically the voltage magnitude of buses are in neighborhood of 1 per unit. Okay, under normal under normal operating conditions, conditions, the voltage magnitude is conditions. The magnitude of voltage, that is the V is e equal to one per unit under normal. Now, this, this is the case in for one per unit per unit in case of slack bus. Now we have other buses mm -hmm. also. Okay. Then the voltage okay. When we talk about the load bus, so which is the load bus? What are the values? There are the values active and the reactive power, PQ bus. Okay, yeah. load bus, which is also called as the PQ bus. In the load bus, because it is consuming power, so load magnitude, voltage magnitude at load bus would be somewhat lower. It, it would be somewhat lower than the slack bus. Okay. And we have one more bus that is called the generator bus, right? Generator bus, which is generator bus, in, which is also called as PV bus. In this, it is generation. So the voltage magnitude would be more than somewhat, somewhat, okay, not more than the this bus, but it is in the neighborhood of. It is in the. It is in neighborhood only. Neighborhood means it's very close to this value. Neighborhood means very close to slack. Very close to. 1 plus J0, hence initial estimate would be hence initial estimate, hence initial initial estimate here, estimate yes, estimate would be 1 plus J0. This would be the initial estimate. Now for PQ buses, the real and reactive powers. See, for the PQ buses, PQ buses are scheduling the real and reactive power. In the PQ buses, we are scheduling P schedule and reactive power get scheduled. And this these are known. Okay, because we know in the load value is known. Because this is also because load we know what would be the 
connected node and because of the connected node we already know that like this is a plant or this is a place in kerala you are having house and you know what is the connected load so this is the load bus so you do know the load now you can start yes, with sir. an initial estimate when you are starting with the initial estimate start estimate would be equal to what would be the starting estimate that is nothing but 1 plus j0 but from which equation you can get this this can be get the initial estimate you can get from this equation so here when you are starting you will start with vik plus 1 here the initial estimate would be 1 plus j0 Okay, now when we will be doing the problem, we get more, more clear. So once we are taking this in initial estimate and solving for this equation, equation one, okay, initial estimate and solving for equation one uh, for real and imaginary. So what we get is that we get the real and imaginary components of voltage. Okay, for okay. real and imaginary components of voltage you will get from there. Okay, now once you got, got that uh, components of voltage, after that you have a voltage control bus, PV bus. In the PV buses, uh, what you know, you know the value of the scheduled power you know. And you know the value of the voltage, that is VI, R specified. So, this R specified, these values you can get from the equation for equation for the Q this q equation so the q equation would be imaginary part so you can for the reactive power you can in order to get the qi value is missing you can get from this equation by substituting because see here here pv buses your pish and vi are known so here only you you have to put the value of vi okay and these values will be automatically getting generated for the qi from this equation yes, here okay and once you are solving for the qi solve for solve for qi qi is solved basically and then you can get the value of qi k plus one and once you get this value of k qi k plus one this value you will calculate from here once you get this value from here equation three let this be equation one two and three and solve qi from equation three right i this equation you know imaginary and this part only vi yes. conjugate k same thing down vi k i did not write same thing okay you know j is equal to zero to n vi j here there is no space minus this this thing okay when you are solving for qi from equation 3 once you solve this from equation 3 then what you do is that then put this in and then then put in equation 1 so you can solve for qi then you can put this value here qi value can be put here right this pi should be yes, minus sir. jqi so this qi value can be put here and finally Okay, once you have solved this and put this value is, is here, then, but however, see, all this is okay, but however, VI is specified, okay, specified, only the imaginary part of VI K plus 1 is retained, okay, when you are solving, only you will retain imaginary, imaginary part of VI k plus 1 and it's real part it's real part how it is calculated it's real part is calculated by a formula i will show you it's real part you can calculate by putting it in this formula e i k plus 1 whole square plus f i k plus 1 whole square Okay, this term is equal to, uh, now I will explain, don't worry from where this, in between this formula came. So, okay. yeah, don't worry about this. So, this is, the, this is the standard form of the formula. Okay, so I am just trying to calculate the error. Now, here where this EIK plus 1 are the real and imaginary components of the voltage, basically. This is the, this is the form of C. When I write V at an angle alpha, what does, what it means? 1 at an angle alpha, what it means? means cos alpha 
plus j sin alpha right this this term is one at an angle of alpha you know that now so similarly v at yeah. an angle of alpha would mean v into cos alpha right plus v into j sin alpha so this alpha. here the real part is of this is v cos alpha okay and the imaginary part for this imaginary part is equal to v sin alpha right similarly in this terms i have written okay uh, just to explain you this particular thing so this is just to put it in an iterative sequence so wherein you have you can write this e i k plus 1 as square root of v i square minus f i k plus 1 whole square okay now where i have told you why, what is e i k plus 1 it is the real part okay I'll take a different color so that here I'll write where EI in black not yet, yeah. Where EI K plus one is the real part of voltage, real part, and FI K plus one is the imaginary component. FI K plus one is imaginary component. Okay. okay. Now one more thing is that. Now, see, if I have to iterate this sequence, so I will just put it in a gauss seidel format. In the gauss seidel format to iterate this sequence, like this I will put v i k plus 1, same thing like I used to put x k plus 1 here, v i k plus alpha, just in the previous class I told you v i k calculated k minus v k v i sorry v i k okay this will be the sequence now the thing is that alpha is the acceleration factor it it value its value will depend upon the system okay so in typical calculations it is found to be around alpha value usually for the cost signal method of this calculation is around 1.3 to 1.7 this is the value of rate of conversion so it will convert otherwise you have to do more number of iterations Okay, otherwise you have to, if you don't take the value of alpha, you have to do the more number of uh, equations. Now, the updated voltages, whenever you are getting the updated vo voltages, the process would be continued until the changes in the real and the imaginary of bus voltages between, between successive iterations are within a specified accuracy. Like when we were calculating, if the it is nearer, it is coming nearer, like 3.994. If it, if it is a huge decimal value, then you have to still iterate. But if it is coming nearer, you have to specify the accuracy. Now, the, for the power system, mismatch to be be reasonably small and accept, acceptable. So, what is the mismatch? See, a voltage accuracy in the range of 0 0.0001, 4 times 0, 01 up to 0 0.005 is satisfactory. Okay, in, in case of power system. Now let's go about now the error. Now sh shall I? Uh, now if you have to calculate have this error, na, this error would be yes, equal sir. to e i k plus one minus e i of k. Same there also we used to calculate that error from the gauss seidel should be somewhat less in error. Okay, this error should be like in the range of point zero 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 one. Okay, same this yeah. f i k k plus one minus f i k should be in the range of less than equal to this error so now let's go about the problem <clears throat> okay yeah you write it down once you are done you tell me i'll clear the board because i have to write the problem now yes yes one second yeah you, you take the it last. down yeah, you take it down no issues so here equation one is um the this thing right yeah equation uh, one is this equation one is yeah. this equation two is this equation three is this take down because i have made it in a simplified form in that book it would be confused you get may get confused okay and this also you take down properly first to write down this then yes. the initial estimate you, you write down yes sir, yes sir. okay uh, this, this, this is in this order okay here yes, yes, then 
then here okay then here yes, here after that after that you write the black part okay at the end first this part then this then. part this part then then okay don't write the third part you write down then because if i drop now it becomes uh, then i'll save this also on the pdf okay now okay for so second part i can drop this part right first part yes sir first part second part you can drop Red color is much better, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. See, now if you look at this uh, line flows and losses, which mostly see the line flows and the losses that will be encountered. Suppose there is an incoming, there's one bus here. Okay, the input to the line is VI. Okay. And the current that is entering is IJ. Um, the, sir, 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 uh, sir, you can clear the whole thing, sir. Okay. I'll get a little confused about the. Yeah, yeah, I'll clear the whole thing. Then. Okay. Yeah, suppose you have this. Now we'll be going about the line flows and losses, and then we'll take a problem to understand this in a better way. Suppose there's a line like this. You have a line wherein your current is entering. The current entering is I, I, J, and you have this voltage here is VI. Then this current is getting divided here at this node. You see it is getting divided here. Down it is going here as I naught and via an admittance, it is going to the ground. Okay, so this is V, V, I is zero and this current is again connected to another bus whose name is vj okay this is vj and this this current is insert injected and this current is getting injected from here i j i again this current also you look this current is going again here it is getting divided it is going a i j zero and it is again been look at this it is going to the ground, right? So this is Y yes, J zero. Okay. And now you have a load current on the load time that is equal to I L. And the impedance between this line is Y I J. Now, after the see, when you have done the uh, iterative solution of bus voltages, now the next step would be to compute the line flows and losses. Now, in order to do this, consider the line connecting. See, we have what we have done. We have considered a line, a line connecting two buses, line connecting two buses I and J we have considered here. Now in this you can see the line current IJ is measured, I, I, IJ is measured at bus 1 whereas the line current I I, 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 J, if you are looking at line current I, 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 J, which is measured at bus I, would be positive. Why it would be positive? Because why it is positive? It is a positive direction. Why I told you if it is entering, in the very beginning I told you if it is entering the bus, it would be positive. Okay? Positive. In the positive direction. So the I to J value here, if you have to write this I, I, J. I, I, J value would be equal to it is getting divided into I load, right, into two parts, KCL, I load and which one? At this node, this I, I, J is entering and dividing it to 
आई लोड प्लस आई लोड एंड आई ओ हाँ आई ओ आई लोड प्लस आई आई ओ सो कैन यू टेल मी बोल कैन यू टेल मी द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस बस आई लोड व्हाट इज द आई लोड कैन I yesterday I have shown yes, you. I load would be yes, yes, sir. I load will be sir. I load will be uh by I J into no yes, sir. By I J into by I J very good into into uh V I ma uh V I minus very good nice. uh V J very good nice. Similarly, can you tell me the value of V I? Uh, I'm sorry. Similarly, can you tell me the value for i i not i i not? Okay, yeah, yeah, i i i i not would be. Um, it would be shared. Why i o? No, why yes, sir. Why i o? It won't be why i o. Why i o into um. Ah, uh, why i o into? Yeah, correct. Why i o into? Into v i o sir. Ah, uh, no, i it or v i basically. It would be equal to v i v i. राइट यस बीआई 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 लोड IJ is getting defined positive, so but the direction of the I load is here. So when I am writing this current, so it would be minus I load, right? You got my point. Suppose I have a, I have one current. Okay, this is my junction here. Okay, there is one more junction here. Okay, so in this junction, what happens is there one current is coming here, and it is getting divided into here and here. Then I say that one more current is coming from here, right? And now if I look at this current, this current is also getting divided. Here. So for this too, it is okay. But for this, what is the current entering the node? And what is the current leaving the node? Now for this, the direction was this. So in this case, if we look at this node, so the current entering the node is equal to I J I plus I L. And what is the current leaving the node? That is I J O, right? So if I have to write I J I value, it would be minus I L plus I J O. Did you get my point? Um, so this is for node two, right? This is for node two, right? The first yeah. equation was was for node one. So this is node yeah, one. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so no for node two. So it would be I J O would be equal to minus I L plus I J O. So in the similar terms, I can write the value of this in terms of y i j would be equal to v j minus v i plus v j not into v j. Now we can calculate the complex power. In order to get the complex power, you know the equation s i j would be equal to v i into i i j conjugate. And on similar terms, it can be also written as S J I is equal to V J into I J I conjugate, and the power loss in the line, power loss in line from I to J would be the algebraic sum of these losses. L I J would be equal to S I J plus S J I. And hence, now to uh, elaborate the uh, gauss seidel equation, I take one problem and we'll solve this problem. Okay, this is a very big problem. If you understand this problem, then your problems are very small in comparison to what I have taken. Okay, can I clear? Um, almost, sir, almost. Sir, one yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, you write you write it down because I will I clear the board only. I cannot rub it. It becomes confusing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. Hmm. There is no option to click here. Yeah, let me. 
Oh yes, you can grab it. Grab it. I mean, erase the whole. You can clear the whole board. Ah, clear the whole board. Clear all my drawings. Yeah. Now this problem happens here is that yeah, quite poor. Now let's take a problem wherein I have a. Let me start from here. I have a generator. Okay. Which is connected to bus one. This is my bus one, which is connected with the admittance value. This is Z value. Z is equal to zero point zero two plus J zero point zero four. And at bus two, I have. You just check the flow of power from bus to the flow of power is like that. So it is going away from the bus. So this power flow when it is going away from the bus, when we will put in the solution, it will be always taken in negative. Okay, remember that point. Don't take it as it is. Okay, this yeah. is megawatts. And here you have this as 110.2 MVAR. So this is the P and this is the Q values basically. MVAR means P and megawatts means this is the unit for real and the reactive power. Then I have one more impedance and one more bus. This is bus one, bus two. Then I have a one more impedance here and one more one more impedance here, which is getting connected to bus two. So the value of imp imp impedance here would be zero point zero one plus J zero point zero three, and here it is zero point zero one two five. I'll write it down zero point. Zero one two five plus J zero point zero two five. Okay, and this is my third. This is my third bus over here. While in the power again is going away. Okay, this is the real part and this is the reactive part. The real part of the power is one thirty eight point six. Uh, while the reactive part is forty five point two. This is obviously in megavolt ampere reactive, and this is in megawatt. Okay, so these are my admittance value, and this is my bus three here. So I will consider my first bus as the reference bus, which is also called the slack bus. And in in the slack bus, my value is given in terms of per unit. That is one point zero five at an angle of zero degrees. So the question states that the so it is basically showing a single line diagram. It is showing a single line. Diagram diagram of three bus power system, three bus power system, power system with generation at at bus one. The magnitude of voltage at bus one is adjusted. The magnitude, magnitude. I'll write like this: magnitude of voltage at bus one is adjusted as adjusted as one point zero five per unit, and the schedule loads at bus two and three are marked on the diagram. The scheduled loads. At bus two and three are marked in the diagram. Diagram. So this schedule load is marked in the diagram. Don't worry about the time. I will give you an, one more class if it is needed. I will need to finish this. Okay. Don't worry about time. Are marked yeah. on the marked on the diagram. So line impedances, line impedances, impedances. Are marked in per unit per unit on a hundred MBA base, and the line charging susceptances are neglected. Susceptances are neglected now. What I need is that using the Voss Seidel method, determine the phasor values of voltage at load buses using 
was realized that GS GS method to determine determine the phasor value phasor values of the voltage of the voltage at the load buses two and three PQ buses load buses are the PQ buses to four decimal places four decimal places first thing it is asking this okay second thing find the slack bus real and reactive power find the slack bus real and reactive power find the slack bus real and reactive power third thing it is asking is determine the line flows and the losses determine the line flows and the line losses line losses and finally you construct construct a power flow diagram power flow diagram showing direction of line flow of line flow now if you have to go about this the first thing you need to do is that all the values of impedances need to be converted into advertences so all the values of z there need to be one step one would be step one convert all impedance that is into y into admittance admittance would be equal to y y would be equal to 1 by z first thing you have to do this so when you are converting yes. the impedance into admittance so you have to for the line 1 it is y12 would be equal to y12 would be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.02 plus j 0 0.04 so if you look at this if you convert this in the calculator it will be 10 minus j20 Similarly, you should do for Y13, the down one, Y13 would be equal to 10 minus J30. Similarly, Y23 would be equal to 16 minus J32. Y23 is, y, y, Y12 is this, Y23 is 0 0.0125 plus J0.025. Similarly, here it is, you will get this Y23. Now, once you have got the value of admittances, now add the PQ buses, the complex loads. Now add the PQ buses. If you look here at the PQ buses, now in the PQ buses, add PQ bus number two as two scheduled. What is the load? Load will be expressed here. It is going away from the bus. So when it is power is going, it will be expressed as a negative quantity. Negative of 2.56.6. Okay, this will do 2.256.6. P plus JQ that I'm writing, right? This is basically P yes, plus JQ, right? So 256.6 plus J is equal to 110.2. And this would be, this term here is in megawatts, is in megawatts. Okay, this is in megawatts divided by, see this megawatt term because it is expressed in per unit. So per unit. And what is the base that we have taken? We have taken a base in the range of what is the base that we are taking? Can you tell me the base? If you the magnitude of the voltage at bus bus is this, this is uh, we have taken the base as 100 MBA. Okay, so what okay. we have to do 100 MBA is equal to 100 into 10 power 6. Okay, whereas you have this base as 256.6 into 10 power 6. So we have to divide this voltage by this base. This needs to be divided. 100 into 10 power 6 needs to be divided to make into per unit. This is the basically this is the actual value. Actual value. But okay. per in per, to express in per unit, we need to divide actual value. Actual value by base value. Right. So your actual value okay. is actual value is 256.6 plus 110.2 into 10 power. 6 divided by 100 into 10 power 6 
So this 10 power 6, 10 power 6 cancels because this is also given in MVAR and MVAR is nothing but 10 power 6 into VAR. Megawatts is also nothing but as 10 power 6 into watts. So this mega term, uh, and, yeah, tell me. Sir, 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 sir. Sir, mm -hmm. after, after Y23, that is S2, okay, can, you, can you repeat from there? I think uh, I lost it. Where after, after Y23, yeah, here. Yes, sir. So y1, Y12, Y13 and Y23, I understood. After that. After, after that, what we have to do is that we have to calculate the scheduled power, right? The scheduled power correct, the, correct, 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 at yeah. the PQ buses. This yeah. power is given here. This power is given here. See the direction of the power flow. Power flow it's when it is out. It, if when it is moving out from the bus, this power flow, then it's at that mouth. time we will we'll, we'll take the value. Yeah, why it's we'll, uh, when it is moving out, we take the value in minus. Okay. Correct, correct, correct. So on the same, uh, on the, that's why I do, wrote the term minus. Now this is okay. given in the actual value. This is given 256.6 megawatts. This is given 110.2 okay. MBAR. But we need to calculate oh, this okay. in terms of the per unit value. And for the per unit value, it is telling that our marked in the line into our marked in per unit on a hundred. Okay, so MBA, we divide by MBA. So we divide by hundred. But it is in MBA now. We actually divide by hundred into ten power six because of MBA. The top value is 256.6 megawatts. Megawatts is in, this is 256.6 into 10 power 6. This is, that's why this 10 power 6, this 10 power 6 gets cancelled. This is the term, other term here is okay, 110.2 into 10 power 6. You divide it by again 100. MBAR and power yeah. 6. So this, this will get cancelled. So the new yeah, value, think. new value we will get is would be directly we can divide it by 100 okay so the new value which we, we will get here would be 2.5566 and remember the sign this would be minus and here also minus, yes, minus j 1.102 so this we need to write in per unit first okay you can get okay yeah, you have an option you can get a slide here okay yeah here you have a slide. You can go back to that slide. No need to drop the oh, slide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. sir. One second, sir. One second. One second. Uh -huh. I'll write the S2 part. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, sir, here, wh wh what is S2? What do you call it? S2 is the real and the P2 bus, load bus, P2 bus. S2, okay. is, is, S2 is this part, okay, P that and is, Q. P that and is Q just, okay, okay. That is the load. Okay. Yeah. S2 is the schedule power and the P2. Similarly, see S3 here, they have mentioned 138.6, 45.2, right? So if you have write uh, for S3, if you have write for S3, directly you can write 138.6. You have to make it into per unit plus, uh, what is uh, that value? J, J45.2. Uh, 45. Again, you can directly divide by 100. Why? Yes, sir. Directly, because megawatt, I showed you how it is happening. So S3 value. Uh, sir, it will be, sir, uh, it, so it will be minus 130. Yeah, uh, yeah, it would be minus because it is going away. So the S3 value, nice, you have picked it up. It would be minus since it is also going away. So it would be minus only. Yes, sir. Okay, it would be minus only. 